everyone, welcome back once again. We're here at the Genghis Khan in Cleveland, Ohio. Actually, technically in Lakewood, Ohio, I guess, Lakewood, right? Lakewood, Ohio, yeah. That's right. And we're here with lettering artist extraordinaire Tom Orzakowski. Oh my gosh, and if you're an X Men fan from the 80s, and that when I, it, you would know exactly who this is, tell us a little bit about what you do, Tom. Oh, I do the lettering, sound effects, titles, uh, design where the, this, all the dialogue is going to be on the page. I started doing X-Men in 1975, did 18 years of that, and that was about enough. <laughs> and then I've been working on Spawn for 25, 26 years since issue one. Uh, a lot of work for Dark Horse. Everybody did tons and tons of manga. It's fun. So collectively, how long have you been a comic book vet? I'm about to start my 45th year. Wow. Started at 19, got a job in the Marvel bullpen. And uh, just everything grew up from there. So you were at Marvel in its heyday when they had the bullpen with Stanley and all those guys? I was in the bullpen with Stanley, Roy Thomas, and Maurice Severin. Uh, like the second, the solid second generation of Marvel. Uh, Stan was still in the office every day. Roy was still editor in chief. Uh, X Men was not yet even started up again yet. Did you ever hear him say Excelsior or no? I heard him say face front, I've never heard him say Excelsior. But you, and, you, and you are an official recipient of several no prizes, is that true? I have two no prizes. They're framed. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. Now, Tom is a personal friend of the Mummy and the Monkey, and uh, he visits our Mummy and the Monkey thrift crib shop quite often, he and his lovely wife Lois, uh, who is running around here probably uh, spending every dime you have. Lois is spending the mortgage and the grocery money, yeah. But that's okay, because it's in the name of comics, and we love comics, independent comics even. And I guess if you're hungry enough, you could eat comics. That's you know, get some fiber in your diet. Yeah, soy-based ink. All the food groups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was uh, your favorite, um, do you have a favorite project that you enjoyed working on the most? I'd say Chris Claremont's X-Men is always going to be, you know, if Todd McFarlane sees us, I'm terribly sorry, Toddy, but X-Men was the thing. Chris was just going crazy. He was on fire. It was in the zone and everyone was reading the comics. That's when comics was like a million dollar industry at the time, correct? They were selling... Yeah, X-Men was selling towards three quarters of a million copies a month uh, through the 80s. Half a million to three quarters of a million uh, copies a month. Um, but it were 40 cents a copy, so people could afford that many of them. And unfortunately, I think maybe now the whole industry of comics might sell that many comics a year. I, I don't know. Um, it's but, not what it was, but the, everyone's going to see the movies. That, that is true, and I hope it leads them back to the books, the original source material, because the, the magic is all there. It's been there in that format for, for decades, and uh, there's, there's much more that can be done with comics. Well, and I see a lot of people buying books here at the show, so it, it's not quite dead. There's still a following. Yeah. Well, I can barely, barely hear anybody talking this soon. There's so many people here. They got to have a microphone, because we wouldn't ever be, be able to hear each other without it. Now, really quick, um, uh, if you could do any, if you, any, any comic book property that you wish you would see be made into uh, a movie? Oh boy, I can't help you with that one. I see Mullet Turtle over there. That'd make a pretty good movie. Oh, Mullet Turtle, I, I'm down with that I one. Got mullet Monkey right over here. That's right. Well, uh, Pompadour Monkey, but I can put it to a mullet if I want. <laughs> with a backdrop, you know, party in the front, party in the back too. So uh, and if, if they were to make a movie of your life, who would you want to play you? Oh, boy. You, actually. Oh, if I were a movie star, I would. But I'd be more than happy to. All you I got to do. better hairline. Yeah. You got the profile. You got everything. I just got to work on my lettering styles. That's right, because <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at that. All right, well, Tom, thanks for letting us uh, talk to you for a little bit here at uh, Genghis Khan. And uh, much luck in your future success. And uh, any, any parting words? Uh, just it's, it's glad to be interviewed by such noteworthy Clevelanders as yourselves. Oh, uh, well, thank I've, you, Tom. I've actually arrived now. Well, wow. Thank you, Tom. I'm okay. flattered. Okay. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining us here, and uh, we're going to get back to more of the fun stuff here on the Mummy and the Monkey Show, right there? Right, Graham. All right. <laughs> this is a Bill Corporation, Ohio, and you're watching the Mummy and the Monkey.